we wake up in Saturday on six and a half in the morning, something like that, for boom and sirens. We have little bit booms and sirens, but it was different. Big attack, really big, big, big attack, and it didn't stop like one hour and a half and in seven and a half or eight something like that my boyfriend get a message from the kibbutz my name of my boyfriend is santiago is important for this story because he was with me all the story and um, he have a message from the kibbutz be careful uh, we think we have inside a kibbutz terrorist so stay close inside the home, um, turn off all the lights, lock all the doors, lock all the windows and go inside to the safe room and lock the safe room. Turn off the lights, everything, don't do any noise because you don't want the terrorists know you are there. And I start to speak with my mother in the WhatsApp and I told her, my mother lives also in the south. All my family live near Gaza, but you know, a little bit more far, like at seven kilometers, something like that. And I write to my mother, Mom, I'm scared. It's different this time. I don't know why, but it's different. And she told me, Don't worry, Neta, it's going to be okay. You are safe. We have the IDF. They, they keep us. Don't worry, don't worry. All this time we have rockets, we have sirens, we have rockets, but you know, we, we, we hear like um, shots, gunshots, but we're not sure if it's here or in Gaza or, it's, or if it's the IDF for Gaza. I didn't speak with my father six, six years, but I decided to send him a message. Dad, we have, um, terrorists inside a kibbutz. I think we don't have here, not police and not army. So come, please, please help me. And he told me, don't worry, Neta, I come with the police. My dad is police officer. And we start to hear, um, you know, yell in Arabic. And we start to smell like a burn meat and we start to hear how they are um, breaking the doors of our neighborhood and they, the neighborhood start to scream and they shoot them or take them for Gaza. They start to shoot every door, every house they shooting. After the shooting, they start to burn everything. And you know, for the for the neighborhoods, it's like one street in all the streets, it's apartment for young people like me and Santiago, um, 20 years old, you know, all of us, it's like, like small apartments, really small apartments, safe room and, and shower. That's what we have. It was like one apartment after one apartment and Santiago, my boyfriend told me, Neta, when they come to our apartment, please, don't scream, we need to fight. They don't need to know we are here. All the, they, they turn off the signal of the phone. They turn off all the, the lights, the, the power. After 10 minutes, they break our door of the home and the windows and we, we stay quiet. I stand on my bed. They don't see us. Santiago, my boyfriend, is holding the, the door closed and we are in quiet and we hear the terrorists, you know, like um, have fun with the Sony PlayStation as they open all the, the um, closets and we are in quiet and they start shoot on the door of the safe room because they want to know if we are inside because if they shoot, so I start to scream, but they shoot like a five shooting, Santiago have two, 
on the, the right leg and I have one, but we're not screaming because we don't want, they know we are inside, but they understand um, we are inside. We have three terrorists inside and Santiago hold the door and don't let them get out. He yelled on me, Neta, please open the window, open the window. We need to get out. They threw a grenade. I opened the windows and I saw like 10 or 15 terrorists standing on the parking with one car big and white with gunshot on, you know, um, with big gunshot of there. I scared to jump, but Santiago hear the grenade. He was the soldier in the army, so he understands grenade. It jump on me and we jump on the window and we fall down on the ground. It was two and a half meter high. And the terrorists see us and they start to shoot with Kalachnikov automats you know, for us, and we start to run. I have seven balls, five of them on my left leg, one in the right leg, one in the in the hand, this hand, and five in my left leg. And Santiago have one in the back, and I fall down on the ground. And Santiago took me on the shoulders. Sorry, I take off, but when they shoot me inside the safe room, I send to my, my father, we don't have a single there, but I send to my father, dad, help, they shoot me. I fall down on the, on the ground and Santiago took me on the shoulders and he told me, Neta, if you don't run, we're going to to die or they take us to Gaza. This is the two options. Start to run, start to run, yell at me. And I r try to run because I don't really have the left, the left leg, but I, I run, I have to because my life is important. And we try to open all the apartment, but if they don't open for us because they think we are terrorists. And Santiago saw like back of house uh, and he saw um, like um, space where you know the all the um, garbage go down it was there a lot of garbage so Santiago take the garbage out and he put me inside and with him and all the garbage on us because we don't want they see us and after I think two hour in in the we we there like uh, three hours and the, the three hours of this the terrorists run on the streets and sh we you know we sound like kids tell them please don't shoot me and they shoot on the street and they burn every house and they kill everyone. We have rockets and and we hear the people screaming on the houses, please don't take me, please, please. And, uh, and they shoot them. And I don't want to say something in the TV, we not need to say because we have a lot of pictures, but you know, and after two hour and a half, we start to sound Hebrew and it gives us hope. But after 10 minutes, it's gone. We don't sound Hebrew anymore. So after three hours, two people coming very close to us and they don't see us. We don't know if they soldiers or if it's terrorists, we are in quiet. I don't know how to say it, this quiet, but it was quiet. And after I think three minutes, something like that, Santi understand they the army because you know the the speak it's 
it's army speak, it's IDF speak. So he, he go out and tell him, IDF, IDF, please, please, my my girlfriend here, she's going to die, please. And he told them, Santi, we are sorry, but all the four houses near us is terrorists, and we are just two soldiers. We come without car, without nothing. We don't know what to do. And I started screaming, I have to live, I have to live, please, please help me. And they give me him phone, one soldier. I call to my dad because I know my dad is here because I, I send him a message because we don't have phones. We, we was with, without shoes, without nothing. So we, we call with the soldier phone to, to my dad. And I told, and Santiago told them I am alive. And my dad started to cry and, and tell him, don't worry, I come to take her out. And really after 10 seconds, no, 10 minutes. I'm sorry, a little bit stressed, it's, it's hard. And after 10 minutes, he come with a um, safe car. I don't know how to say it. Bulls can't go inside. He come with three brave, brave police, policies, policies, soldiers. He come with them and the other soldier start to, you know, to take, to shoot for the, for the terrorists to take me out because they don't want, they shoot me because I can't move. And they take me out and put me in the safe car and we go in out for the kibbutz and we saw i think all the kibbutz dead we saw kids dead on the street without the heads we saw a lot of body on the street you know from from Kfarada to the road it's like seven minutes and I think it was there on the road, like a 400 dead people. And car showed. And after all this, they took me to Ashkelon, to hospital. And there it was a lot of patients. So they asked me if I can go to Kfar Saba. It's like one hour and and half from Ashkelon, so they I said yes, don't worry, I'm going to be okay, and they took me here. I feel this is my mission. I can go out to fight with the army. My mission now is to all the world need to understand what happened in Israel. And for this, I lie. And for this, I fight. And that's what I have to say. Thank you. <laughs>